got to start from, wow, this is probably a really cool person. Now, they're going to do some stuff to prove you wrong. <laughs> Let me amend that. <laughs> they're going to do some stuff to prevent you from seeing that this really is a cool person. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, that is really a cool person that is worthy of love and acceptance. All that other stuff is artificial and in the way. When you model that, when you live that way, and don't worry about, I need to teach you this, I need to give you this, I need to show you this, I need to help you with this. Just live that. Particularly for people who are struggling, or lost, or lonely, or in pain, or confused. They're going to look at you and go, I want some of that. You have an opportunity to help them, but you can't fix them. You can't make it go away. You can't tell them anything that makes them go, you know what, you're right, I'm going to stop doing that. But you don't have a shot at helping them at all if you're not willing to tell the truth. The understanding that that's what we always should be doing. To mm -hmm. bump into these kids. Boom, smack, boom. Don't step around them, you know. Don't turn them off the other way. Don't make a scary face and then maybe come, come smack into them and say, I see you. I know who you are under that cloak. And I know you're trying to hide it from everybody else. And that's cool. Don't hide it from me. I already know you're in there. Better than that, let me help you take it off. Let me let, me let you know you're okay. You don't need it. And I say, because I'm a good Christian, do you need more bread? He said, I don't. What I really need is somebody up the street just gave me some pants. And the pants I'm wearing have this big safety pin in them, and they don't fit, and they fall down. What I really need is to come in and change my pants. And I was like, oh. Because I knew I had to let them in. I knew I had to let him in for two reasons. One, that's what I'm called to do, even when I mess it up. And two, I'm old enough and smart enough to know that when I pray to God and say, can you help me fix that, and he lets me, and I don't, that's not good. <laughs> and it's not because God's judging me. It's just because God's given me an opportunity to live into who he called me to be. And I can't drop that ball. And I let him in. And he went out to the bathroom, and guess what he did? He changed his pants. That's it. He didn't touch my stuff. I don't even think he looked at my stuff. He changed his pants. And he came down, and I said, um, what's your name? And he said, Tony. I said, Tony, do you want to sit down for a minute? And I had never done anything like that before. I had never let somebody that I didn't know, let alone somebody that I thought might be a threat, into my house to sit down. And Tony said, I'd love to. And he sat down and we started to talk. And I, I got to hear a little bit about Tony. I got to hear about his kids. I got to hear about how he came to a place in his life where he's living outside of a home. I got to hear about a reality that I had never experienced and one that, frankly, I never wanted to. And we talked for a while, and I said, is, is there anything I can do for you? And he said, uh, not really, I'm good. But thanks for letting me change my pants. And he walked out of my house, and I got up and I went to the door, and I don't know if this part's real or not. You ever see stuff that, like, you're not sure if that really happened? Like, you think you see it, but then you think about it, and it's, I walked to the door, and he walked about halfway down my street and disappeared. Didn't disappear like kept walking till I couldn't see him. Disappeared like he was there, and then he wasn't. And I thought, hmm. That's all I thought. Because I couldn't think any other rational explanation for what I had just experienced except 
This was a human being. This was not a homeless guy. This was not a dirty person. This was not somebody who was a threat to me. This was a human being. And all God asks me to do ever is to help people restore their humanity. Is to remind people that they are human beings, beloved children of God. He doesn't need me to build Tony a house. Although if I can, and that's my gift, and that's what I do, that would be super. He doesn't need me to open a soup kitchen and name it after Tony and call it Tony's Soup Kitchen and feed 7 million people. Although if I can, and that's my gift, that would be super. What God needs me to do is to tell Tony, you are a beloved child of God. You guys are doing this now. You guys are doing this work that when we look at it and we say to ourselves, this is so much and so hard, I can't do this. You guys are doing this now. Forget Disney World. God is on the phone. It's time to get up and go do something. It's time to get wet and messy and dirty. And thank God he trusts us with that. God bless you guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.